Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. Today, we're gonna uncreate the Scorpion XO1909 jacket. All right, Speed Axe fam, before we jump in and tell you all about this jacket I'm wearing, I'm gonna ask you a quick favor. Please subscribe, that helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. Come on, everybody knows it. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a Scorpion 1909 jacket from us here at speedaddicts.com, that'd be rad as well. If you choose to do so, we make it real easy. There's a link in the description below to get over to this jacket or shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So Scorpion XO 1909, what are we doing here? This is a vintage leather riding jacket with armor. It's a throwback, thus the name 1909. That was the year that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway opens. It opened its doors. So this is kind of a turn of the century look. It's that vintage soft leather. Um, it's kind of a, it's, it's really kind of a dark brown when you're seeing it in person, in case you're wondering, on the colorway. And that this is the only color they make in the 1909. So $4.99 makes one yours. So not inexpensive, but when it comes to top grain leather, it's rather affordable at, kind of at the same time. It's an investment. They're backing it up with a five-year warranty, which is nice, longer than their typical warranty over at Scorpion. When it comes to the fit, most important part of most of our videos is how does it fit? How should we order? So you're going to see sizes small all the way up to three extra large in the 1909 jacket. I have a size large on. I'm a 44 inch chest, 6'2", 220. So I usually fall right between large and extra large with Scorpion jackets. This one, if this jacket gives, I could get away, whoops, with the large, but just, okay? The length is pretty good, but the fit across the midsection is pretty tight. Up in the shoulders, it's got enough room, which uh, isn't always the case in uh, leather jackets for me. So, if as long as I'm not gonna gain any weight, this thing's gonna stretch, it'll probably be okay. It does have these flexible gussets in the hip area, which doesn't hurt my cause here. So I would say it runs pretty true, and this is with the shoulder and the elbow armor installed, so you don't have to worry about that. The shoulder and the elbow armor does come with the jacket. Now, if I wanted a little bit more of a comfort fit, extra large would probably work out okay as well. Now, when it comes to fit, don't worry, we got your back covered with no cost returns at Speed Addicts. All you have to do to qualify is live in those lower 48 states. Make sure the gear is brand new, original condition with all the tags. We encourage you to just test fit at home, not on a machine. We'll make sure to treat you like family. A couple of clicks, you get that label and you're off to the races, exchange, return, whatever you need to do. Okay, give us a shot and we'll hook you up. Let's dive in and take a closer look at the 1909 jacket. So you're going for the vintage look, it's that soft distress top grain leather construction. You have overlays in the elbow area, right? This is a, uh, a abrasion zone. It also just kind of gives you a nice look. I've already shown you these accordion panels here. Now, <clears throat> in the armpit area, you are getting perforation that's gonna allow airflow. The armor, this is level two SAS armor that is in the shoulders and the elbows. I will say my one nitpick about this jacket is the SAS Tech Armor Scorpions using in their elbows on some jackets is just pretty hard compared to some of the uh, newer armors out there that have a little bit more flex. Okay, so these are just a little bit stiff. You could always replace them with some D3O. You could buy on its own if you wanna soup this jacket up and give you a little bit more flexibility. Uh, I showed you those perforated panels. You can check out the back of this. You have vent ventilation uh, on both sides of your back. More on that in a minute. Let's go back to the front. You got their kind of a gold color brass zipper. Gives it a nice look. As far as pockets go on the exterior, you're gonna get four pockets. You've got two of these side pockets. They are all zippered. You've got your one chest pocket, and then you've got one stash pocket down here on your right sleeve, which is handy. On the inside, you've got lots of zipper, or lots of pockets. So you have an internal wallet pocket here, and then on both sides, underneath this, uh, this removable warmth liner here, their, uh, <clears throat> their thermal liner rather, uh, you do have more zippered pockets behind these, this liner here. And you're able to access them through these little slits that they give you, which is cool. So this thermal liner with the quick wick two panels is removable. So if you wanna run this in warmer weather, open up the vents on the back, remove that thermal, thermal liner, and you'll be in great shape. The other cool thing that this jacket has that not all vintage uh, jackets are going to have is that jacket to pant zipper as well as a belt loop hook. So you'll be able to be dialed in. You want to go 
with riding pants instead of jeans. You can hook those up together. You'll be in great shape. Scorpion XO is going to back up the 1909 with a full five-year warranty, which is great considering you're spending 500 bucks of your hard-earned cash. If there's a question I didn't answer about this jacket, don't worry. Rider Support standing by over at speedaddicts.com. They got your back. You can always talk to a human over here at Speed Addicts through the phone, live chat, or emails. If you got one of these, let us know how you like it. <clears throat> I think it's pretty awesome considering the price point, the look, the feel. It's very high quality, but don't take my word for it. Let us know how you like it in the comment section below. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.